What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Fresh Dex back at it again with another banger banger. So, you guys already read the title of this video. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing my boy YBN the mirror dreadlocks and just basically just discussing his journey from the bottom up and where he came from and where he's at right now, his uh, current journey. Um, so that being said, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it to all your friends. Uh, definitely make sure you like because it really shows your love and support for my videos, that is. And if you have any requests for any other artists or anybody like that in particular that you will find interesting to do dreadlock reviews on, make sure you uh, comment something in the comment section down below. That being said, let's get into the video. Gang, gang. Intro! is YB in the mirror you guys my ass well we professionally know him as YB in the mirror that's his rap name well he's an American rapper songwriter and even an actor um, he's best known for his single uh, rubbing off the paint was charted at number 46 on uh, billboard hot 100 and bounce off with that which peaked at number one on the bubbling under hot hundreds chart uh, he was born in December the 18th, 1999. He's currently 20 years old. Um, he's from Birmingham, Alabama, and he's currently signed with a uh, record label, Atlantic Records, uh, but that's too much information. So that being said, let's go ahead and start off with his dreadlock journey. Let's get into it. All right, guys, starting off is the earliest picture I can find my boy. As you can see from his hair texture in this picture right here, it's kind of curly, kind of poofy at the same time. You can see a lot more of his curls, more defined in this photo right here. A lot of length way before the locks, guys. All right, you may ask, what's his hair type? So I believe his hair type is within 3C or 4A, judging from the curls that is. Uh, there's a lot of curly and afro texture going on at the same time. Set for decks where you been at, I'm just passing the breeze. I've been running these views up on YouTube, that's why all these bitches on me. I've been cooling, laying low, I ain't taking no seat. But just know a nigga back in this time, I won't leave. I've been running, 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 running. Alright guys, this is the first clip I've seen of uh, Wabi in the mirror when I was uh, checking out his locks and everything. They kind of look like twist when i first got a first glance of it but i was like okay they locks but uh he's basically in his starter lock stage in this point and y'all you guys seen the last pictures i showed you guys like he started off with a lot of hair a long length of hair and now he's starting off his jury locks he has a little bit of hang time because he started off with so much hair but his uh, dreadlocks doesn't look all the way mature as you can tell from this uh, video clip here so if you guys decide to grow out your hair for a long period of time so you can like achieve that hang time that would definitely work out as you can see from our boy YB in the mirror he has a little bit of hang time because he waited for so long for his locks to grow out but he still lost a lot of length and uh, as you can see from this video clip here his uh, locks are definitely not mature yet at this point that's why it looks more like twists than locks at this point and his uh, locks appear to be like very skinny so similar to twist in a way as well it looks like the method he chose to start off his uh dreadlocks is two strand twist as y'all can see from the last video clip so what i was showing you guys before it looks very skinny definitely not mature at this point a little bit of paint time going towards his uh forehead and yeah it's basically not mature uh it's like very skinny uh but you know after a while your dreadlocks will definitely like thicken up so that's just something normal guys you guys remember in the past when we thought my boy yb in the mirror really cut off his dreadlocks but he ended up fooling us all because all he had did was basically put his hair in a ponytail a lot of people be uh getting people thinking that they uh really cut their dreadlocks off 
because that when you get to a certain point in your dreadlock journey that is so long and then like you allow the roots to get nappy without a retwist and then you just tie it up in the back you know like a ponytail it can definitely uh resemble a view it can definitely resemble you having a haircut that's basically what i'm trying to say that's crazy though his dreadlocks um his dreadlocks he's not doing too much to his scalp area as you can see from as you guys seen from the last clip i showed you guys off uh rubbing off on um, the paint so uh he's just allowing his dreadlocks to breathe and uh it looks like he's getting a little more length uh here and there is going to his eyebrows almost to his eyelids uh, he's just not getting that true length right now because he's not uh, doing any retwists right now. He's just allowing his hair to breathe and get a little uh, frizzy. Just going through the stages of dreadlocks, you know, some people call it the ugly stage or anything like that. But basically, he's just his whole starter lock uh, journey, pretty much. He's at that point of time. So he's just allowing his hair to do what it's going to do until it mature a lot more so he can uh, get into doing some more retwists. But uh, he see, it seems like he's like, uh, you know, he's uh, planning out his retwist because he's not jumping to a retwist immediately right after he started um, his uh, dreadlocks. The hairstyles my boy uh, YB and Namir usually rock is something similar to a pineapple top, but not really at the same time. It's like basically a ponytail in the front of his hair, and he just rock it like it's like a mini pineapple top and just leave the rest of his hair just hanging. So he been rocking that uh, as like one of his iconic looks. So it came together nicely. So that's basically the only hairstyle he really rock it like. Uh, that hairstyle and down mostly Okay guys observing this uh, video clip right here. You can see his uh, Scalp is like really exposed. This is the most I ever seen of him uh, getting like a retwist uh, During his uh, starter lock stage and just getting his locks more mature You see him here just in this video clip trying to rock the high top or the pineapple uh uh, the pineapple hairstyle where usually people with high top locks rock, uh, but he has like more of a full set of locks uh, But yeah, that's the most I've ever seen of his scalp being exposed and this is his uh, first time getting a retwist as you, you can see here in this uh, clip and It's coming together nicely uh, His locks still look really skinny at this point but uh, overall, when I show you guys his pictures and everything, y'all can see the process of it getting thicker. His locks, that is. Okay, guys, checking out this next video clip. As you can see here, he's been getting that uh, retwist that I was talking about before. So his hair is like, uh, well, he definitely establishing that length uh, with his dreadlocks. And the length is definitely there. It's going like basically past his eyes now. And yeah, y'all can see the transformation going on there. Length is crazy right now. He definitely experiencing the hang time for sure. And he's basically doing the method of getting a retwist and just allowing your hair to like basically semi freeform so you can get a nice set of thicker, nice thicker set of dreadlocks. So people, if you want a thicker set of dreadlocks, I will advise you guys to basically get, all right, so let's say you want to get a retwist or a bat, right? Go ahead and get your retwist, right? And then um, after you get your retwist, allow your dreadlocks to, and your scalp basically just to wolf out, you know what I'm saying? Just grow your hair and everything, all that good stuff. You're going to experience a lot of new growth and your dreadlocks might be a little frizzy, but you know, you just have to learn how to embrace that. And then after that is over, then you go into getting your retwist once again, once you feel like you establish enough of new growth. And by the way, the only side effect and the only bad part about doing that and just wolfing out with your uh, dreadlocks that is. And when I say wolfing out people, I'm talking about just letting your dreadlocks and like basically your scalp go a little crazy with the frizz and everything. But um, so basically what I'm trying to say is um, the only side effect, the only bad side about that is you're going to have to memorize to get out of the shower, 
you know, whatever. And uh, when your hair gets wet, you have to learn how to basically get in a routine of separating your dreadlocks so you can prevent Congos, unless you want Congos, or you want to go for more of a semi, more of a semi freeform look than to each his own. But if you want to not do that and still go with your maintain route, yeah, just allow your hair to uh, get se separated, you know, by you separating it yourself. And basically, that's a great method to just get a thicker set of dreadlocks because, as we all know, over retwisting, uh, waiting like every two weeks to retwist your hair, just the only result is skinny dreadlocks. So, if you want skinny dreadlocks, you know, and that's what you're into, then uh, go for every two weeks getting a retwist. So, that's that's all I have to say about that. Check out this video clip right here, guys. Um, as you can see here, my boy YB in the mirror, still allowing his hair to like go through that whole semi-freeform stage. He definitely um, has a lot of new growth, as you can see here. All that has built up. You don't see his scalp at all. But uh, yeah, his locks getting kind of thicker though. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, he definitely has a lot of hang time, like I was saying once before. It's still stopping at his nose. And it's like a lot longer in the back than it is in the front, but that's normal. All right, guys, check out his locks in this video clip right here. He finally decided to get that retwist. Uh, yeah, his hair looking pretty nice, pretty fresh on the scalp. Uh, wait till you get back to it. Okay, yeah, his uh, dreadlocks looking a little fresh on the scalp. You know what I'm saying? It's like really maintain his sections. Uh, you can definitely see it there. And uh, yeah, he's just maintaining it at this point. And uh, his length is, uh, well, basically, I can't really see too much of the bang because he has it flipped back. But you can definitely see the true length there because he's he can um, allow his hair to get flipped back that like that. That's how you can really tell you uh, have that length going on. But yeah, overall, his uh, dreadlocks looking pretty fresh, pretty dope retwist. I'm pretty sure he's going to allow his hair to get semi-free form once again just to maintain a good amount of thickness because right now his uh, locks looks like it has a good amount of thickness. It's not too skinny, not too thin. So overall, he's just preventing his dreadlocks from breaking and from excessive retwisting. As y'all can see from this video clip right here as well, you can see him really still maintaining his uh, dreadlocks, he's allowing his uh, dreadlocks to wolf out again on the scalp. And you can see from the side of his dreadlocks, some of the dreadlocks is broken off at the ends just a little bit, but that's perfectly normal. Guys, um, you know, once you have your dreadlocks for, you know, some years and whatever now, sometimes, you know, it breaks off sometimes it's completely normal don't panic anything like that like on the tips areas it just because you're gathering up so much uh, dead hair that uh, sometimes you know it breaks over time at the ends of your dreadlocks that is so uh, if that happens uh, don't get rid of your uh, dreadlocks so that being said let's get to the next part Alright guys, from this video clip right here, you can see my boy YBN in the mirror, uh, face expression. He actually lost one whole lock. That's crazy, but uh, over time, you know, on your scalp and just getting uh, the maintained route look, uh, sometimes you can experience thinning at certain points of time, but uh, usually you can like cover that up with another dreadlock or just adding the loose hair to another dreadlock and just ultimately making that dreadlock uh, even bigger. So, you know, it has its flaws, but um, losing like a whole section or a big pack to dreadlocks, that can be traumatizing and I don't think you can really repair from that. But if you lose only one dreadlock, you can definitely repair from that. But guys, I will avoid uh, losing any dreadlocks. So just be careful with your uh, dreadlocks and everything you like put in it products everything like that usually i would definitely recommend not doing um uh jamaican uh mango and lime not too often just like whenever you can i will recommend doing mostly dry retwist and basically when i say dry retwist i'm talking about with water water base 
So basically with water and then you just go ahead and do your retwist like that. The look won't be as fresh as the Jamaican uh, mango and lime, but you will definitely have more satisfying results for your uh, dreadlocks and your hair itself within the pursuing future. So just make sure you can limit the amount of mango, um, Jamaican mango and lime <laughs> products as much as possible. So uh, that being said, let's continue. All right, guys, check out this pic. He's definitely rocking his uh, retwist once again. He just retwisted his hair, getting that true length. I believe is stopping at his lip at this point. Is definitely touching his shoulders. That's the only thing um, that I really like about the full set of dreadlocks because you can easily touch your shoulders a lot faster than um, having a high top set of locks. But that being said, here's my personal opinion about my boy YB in the mirror, uh, dreadlocks and um, his journey in general. I feel like um, his journey is like really great and like amazing because he didn't do too much with his dreadlocks and I feel like he's just pitting it on for the community, the whole rap community that is and uh, for some of the fans out there too as well that uh, is really into dreadlocks like us. So, uh, anyways, guys, um, that being said, I feel like um, he would basically put us on to, like, the natural dreadlock color and everything like that, natural base uh, in general when it comes to, like, uh, dreadlocks, that is. I feel like he's just um, putting us on to that because basically what I'm saying is, like, most of the rappers now we see nowadays... Um, like they basically rock in the whole colors of the basically the whole thing on rainbow so when we see dreadlocks with the rapper included all we imagine is face tats and rainbow like dreadlocks so i feel like he pitting us on to the whole natural look so for example if uh, a rapper just wanted to go into the gang you know the rap gang uh with a set of dreadlocks he would look at Wabi and the mirror dreadlocks and be like, yo, his dreadlocks is dope and they really long now. Um, he'll look at his dreadlocks and be like, nah, I just want to keep mine natural. I don't want to dye it at all. Not saying anything is wrong with hair dye or dyeing your hair in general because it's a cool, interesting look and helps you stand out from the rest of the crowd. But um, basically what I'm trying to say is he pinned us on to the natural look. So your dreadlocks can look natural, you know, with the black and everything and then like no face tats and all that good stuff. And you can still rock that look. You don't have to necessarily get face tats or rainbow like hair to like really be noticed. You know, just keep your dreadlocks healthy. You know, you should still get compliments from left and right. And you will have less trouble with your dreadlock journey because you won't have to worry about chemicals or anything unnatural that can like really harm your hair in a way. So that being said, uh, let me go ahead and continue. Okay guys, before I continue to the next stage of his dreadlock journey, my boy just getting back to the hairstyles. My boy YB in the mirror, he was rocking the two strand twist. Almost forgot to mention this picture as well. I found it as dope. And yeah, he just overall, he rocked that too as a good way to uh, maintain the thickness of his dreadlocks and to make them thicker. Ultimately, just, you know, you stay them in there for a while and protect the hairstyle. Let it just do what it's going to do. You allow your hair to get that new growth it needs. And then you uh, take it, or you take it, um, well, unbraided, untwisted, I'm sorry, untwisted, you know what I'm saying, you get that uh, curly um, look and the new growth as well, and then you just like retwist it within your hair and then get that thicker set of dreadlocks, you know, that's just another way you can do it. Protect the hairstyles definitely help out to get a thicker set of dreadlocks, but not too tight, people, not too tight. Uh, I guess it just depends on who's doing your hair and who's doing your braiding and uh, your hairstyles in general. If they're using too much force, then you need to switch uh, locticians or whoever's doing your hair. Bro, it's really crazy what my boy YB in the mirror came from. Came from having hair texture like this, you know what I'm saying? For a, I mean, for, 
yeah, 4A to 4, um, 4A to 3C type of hair, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, like, uh, being kind of like a curly hair texture mixed with, uh, more of an afro, it's just amazing how he came from that to having a great set of dreadlocks, I'm glad he, uh, decided to join the crowd, you know what I'm saying, with the lockers, you feel me, and just going with the overall natural feel, like, the natural vibe, and just keeping his hair color, um, the same, like, I feel like that's definitely his look, Alright guys, I found this video clip on YouTube. My boy YB in the mirror living a whole normal life, bro. That junk crazy, bro. Uh, yeah, he got um, a girl too, you feel me? His girl fine, don't know cat, you feel me? Alright, but that's TMI. But uh, anyways, as what I was been preaching on and on and again, as y'all can look and see from my boy YB in the mirror dreadlocks, you can see it, get, it has the perfect thickness that I was talking about the whole entire time because he just allow his hair to like semi free form and then he go into maintaining it and then he just allow it to semi free form once again you know just not caring about what people are going to say about your dreadlocks you can be like oh man you need to go ahead and get a retwist your scalp looks kind of nappy and it's kind of everywhere right now you know you have to remove those people from your life or just ignore them ignore them in general a lot of you guys may be asking how can i get my hair like that all right so any of you guys asking that in the comment section down below let me go ahead and break that down to you guys right now okay so first of all you can start off with growing your hair out at least two inches of course um other than that you can basically you should uh, a good good length to start off your uh, dreadlocks is when you get that curl pattern. If I need to get um, specific, when you get that uh, curl pattern um, going on, then you can just go ahead and start locking your locks up. So when you get to that point of time in your hair journey, just growing it out in general, start off your dreadlocks and two strand twists. Okay, so after you start off with two strand twists just um allow your hair to stay like that and then like it uh, unravels just a little bit maybe you might have to go into uh getting uh it done over and over and over and over again just depending on your hair type and if it doesn't really work out with your hair type your hair type is not around 3c or uh 4a or you know not between the threes the later threes and uh, you know the four type you know it may be hard for you to get this type of locks like my boy YB in the mirror but uh if you have the certain hair type that i just said uh, a few minutes ago just um get the two strand twist just allow your hair to lock up uh maybe go to someone salon i mean a uh, loctician or someone at home just to get them to uh maintain your two strand twist and uh it may unravel a lot but you definitely have to go through the patience and throughout the journey to allow them to lock up naturally but uh if you want to find a cheat code in a way uh as i did and a lot of other people that you may know um so basically get your two strand twist and after you get your two strand twist allow it to get matted up um really nappy uh basically not as fresh as it was uh when you got your two strand twist the first time and after you do that you just um after you do that um basically you just uh get the crochet needle it can be uh 7.5 or 0 0.5 whichever one you prefer um prefer my fault as long as it's a crochet needle and just go into uh each one of your two strand twists and uh lock it up with the crochet needle and it's basically uh instant locks so you'll be allowed to uh so basically that will allow you to wash your dreadlocks or well, it'll be dreads that day so you'll be uh, um you know you can be able to wash your uh hair so that being said that's how you can get your hair like my boy yb in the mirror from the last video clip, y'all seen my boy touching his shoulders with dreadlocks, right? 
this video clip right here with him dancing he got that fresh retwist going on uh on curly too at the same time you can tell it's all the way to the scalp and his dreadlocks uh his length that is is going basically to his back now so the length is definitely unbelievable and uh his journey was definitely satisfying to check out and just to look at in general so that being said it's your boy fresh dex all right and i'm gonna see you guys on the next video you know peace love and positivity all right bro i'm out of here gang gang